Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 31st of October. Let's look back at last week's Trade of the Week and see exactly how this played out. Unfortunately, it's a running theme at the moment that I seem to be getting into trades a little bit early. We saw it with Euro Sterling and that actually has played out exactly how I thought it would in terms of the directional bias, but actually we got in a little bit early and it pulled back into a de deeper retracement. We've seen the same thing happen here in terms of Euro dollar. Price action taking us up through trendline resistance, which isn't something I was expecting. What we have seen is a very clear directional bias towards the downside. With the rally in towards the 76.4 fib and descending trendline, we looked at the next rebound as being something similar to this before we roll over. In actual fact, we've popped into the 100-day SMA and now we're starting to roll over. So I do think this market is going to weaken from here. I do think that we are going to see continued fears going forward as we see inflation rise, which is exactly what we've seen thus far today in terms of the Eurozone inflation figure. I think ultimately the idea that we are essentially done and dusted with this period of downside for stock markets because of the fact that central banks are slowing their rate of, of increase on their interest rates, that doesn't make sense for me because as long as inflation is elevated, then we're likely to see interest rates remain at those kind of levels. And that, to me, means potential for further weakness in terms of stock markets and therefore further strength for the US dollar. We have got the Federal Reserve this week, and so the dollar is going to be in focus. I wanted to look here in terms of the dollar index for the week ahead. And it's a similar trade from the perspective of the dollar index is essentially driven by uh, euro dollar primarily it is of course weighted but the heaviest weighting is towards uh, the euro but what we've got here is this latest pullback with the sort of abc style retracement much like what we saw in terms of euro dollar and now starting to turn higher so happy to take a trade here with my stop loss below this swing low that we have down here so i'll put my stop loss let's say down at 107 towards the downside that's 388 points towards the upside that pretty much takes us up to the prior high. So take profit at the peak here, 383. Let's just make it up to 115. So take profit at 115, stop loss down here at 107, and hoping to see a continuation of this very clear bullish trend that has been playing out so far this year for the US dollar.